Hi, and welcome to the next episode of my vlog. In this episode, we're gonna talk about how I come around doing marketing and ISO, and I'm gonna show you which tools I use so I get more valuable insights, which help me drive more efficiently my ASO campaigns. But before we start, I don't wanna sound like some proclaimed ASO genius. I'm not one. I'm actually really bad at ISO and I am still learning how to do it. Therefore, as a person who doesn't have much experience, we're gonna from now on try to, to do together, navigate the ocean of ASO and try to see how to optimize our own campaigns and see better results. Besides marketing, I thought we could also discuss in more detail what's exactly been happening to Bookie. So, as you probably might have seen, Bookie is out of App Store. Some things happened on Friday, and since Saturday I've been writing emails and been in contact with Apple support team. And I'm trying to sort this whole situation out, because it's so weird. I know Bookie has this discovery feature. So it lets users search by title or author or genre through the API and get the results back. It's not compliant with Chinese law. Therefore, I removed my app from the Chinese app store. However, I think it might not be enough. I don't know, maybe by some coincidence or by an error or, well, something happened. I don't know what, but the app disappeared from all app stores. All right, so it's morning the next day. I had a haircut and as usual, I open App Store Connect to see latest trends and statistics and stuff. And I noticed Bookie is back on the App Store. <laughs> now I'm really confused because I didn't get any response whatsoever from Apple. They didn't comment on my, on my comment to their comment on my app review. So I'm not sure what happened here, but well, Bookie is on the App Store again. Uh, it's not available in China and it won't probably be available in China. So I guess for now those 174 countries will need to suffice. Sorry China, but actually not sorry. I've lost a bunch of motivation and instantly when I saw Bookie is available, like those supplies of motivation came back and I'm ready to rock and I'm ready to uh, push more updates and push even more stuff so there's been a huge fluctuation of, of my mood. Okay, as you can see after uh, Apple finally reverted the changes and Bookie is back on the App Store. I pushed a couple of updates here and there. I had my time with ASO myself. I was looking for keywords for like two or three hours, which was kind of insane because I will, I'm not used to doing that, okay? I'm rather a type of a person who goes into ASO once per blue moon or even less frequently, but I liked it. I liked it very much. I liked the idea of localizing keywords in many languages and then doing that across all of your apps and comparing keywords to your competition. This is really fun stuff and yeah, those two hours just a month ago I would consider as wasted but now I think it's an investment because ASO is an investment, it's just immeasurable investment because it's harder to actually measure your marketing than measure your you know, code you write. Because code you write, how many features you have written, is something you can measure. But money and time spent on marketing isn't measurable. So that's the problem and I think that's the reason many of us struggle with ASO. We are just used to the idea of having something we can see results of that marketing doesn't doesn't fit our like mental characteristics. Therefore, let's move on to tools I use. And the first one I'd like to mention is an app that is both ASO and analytics. 
I discovered it back in May, I think, when I was starting off my my career in in-app purchases, let's say. And what struck me the most was the design of the app and analytics itself. Because if you use Apps or Connect often, you will see that the data is being refreshed once a day and at different hours. And it's very hard to predict when the data arrives. And then sometimes the numbers, you get the numbers, but they are not full analytics. Those extra information will be pulled in in upcoming hours. At first, it's sufficient. It's everything you need. But then if you go deep into analytics, you will discover that there are limits. And here is where App Figures comes on stage. App Figures is a comprehensive analytics app for all of your app business, be it on iOS and Google Play Store. And it's an all-in-one offering. You get top-notch analytics and ads analytics. Plus, it comes with all ASO tools, including competition keywords, a really effective feature. I myself love using, and I used it yesterday when I spent two hours just comparing my apps across all the competition. And that's the fastest way, I think, to discover new and effective keywords that work. When it comes to the strong sites, AppFigure stands out from the crowd by the frequency and quality of the data and rankings. Both are being refreshed on an hourly basis. So make sure to sign up from the link below and elevate your app analytics game to the next level. And now, on to the next one. The second tool I use is Astro by Matteo Spada. I use it to keep tabs on all of my apps in different regions. Astra is a keyword optimization app focused on improving your app visibility and driving more revenue. It has won Product Hunt's first product of the day award, so it's been tested. There are several ASO tools on the market, so what sets Astro apart from the rest? And the answer is, it's accuracy. Unlike other tools, Astro sources data straight from Apple search ads meaning that in the case of a shakeup in ASO, like the one we saw in December last year when Apple changed its algorithm, Astro remains spot on with what's happening on the App Store. I chatted with Matteo, the creator of Astro, and if you use the link down below to sign up today and pick your plan, you will not only help support this channel and help me grow, but also give yourself an edge in app optimization. Just sign up and pick your plan today. And I think that's the end. Um, those are two tools I use on a regular daily basis. Each morning when I wake up, I open up figures and check all of my stats there. Then, if there is a rating or new review, from my experience, I can see there are more reviews than I see on App Store Connect. So it means they are kind of, kind of faster than App Store is. So this is really nice and it helps me, you know, connect with my audience. Astro, on the other hand, I use it on regular basis also as a kind of a bank of all of my keywords in different regions. I can track dozens of keywords in each region and keep tabs on what is popular at the moment and then pick from this selection keywords for my apps. So I think that explains quite well my whole experience regarding ASO and app analytics alike. And now it's time to get back to the video and for more updates for Bookie, Memorize and Vaxkit. Wait, hold on. What is Vaxkit exactly? That's the first time you've probably hear this name. <laughs> I feel like it's on some kind of gender reveal party. But um, yeah, let me show you my Swift Student Challenge project. All right. And for the first time ever, I present to you Vaxkit. Vaxkit is gonna be an app uh, I've been working on for the past two months and I will record a separate video about it but for now it's a, it's a small sneak peek into what I've been working on. It's not done yet, uh, I have to do something. Still, actually quite a lot, <laughs> there's still quite a lot of work ahead of me but essentially that's the idea of the app. And now Let's go to a nearby coffee shop and continue working on Vaxkit. I 
forget to mention that if you want to learn more about marketing and those strategies and also ISO tools, I recommend to you to follow Matteo and Ariel on Twitter. They post really interesting content about what can you change and tips and other tricks regarding ISO. So make sure to do that. And now I see you guys next week. This was fun, wasn't it? Let me know if you prefer more me talking or less me talking. Let me know in the comments.